Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. And in this video, we are going to see how we can protect some routes. So let's go ahead and get started. And with our example, we are going to create a route where we can get the user profile. So let me paste my headers. And there's a typo over here to authenticate and user and get the user token to get the authenticated users profile. Okay, and this will be again, this the same API and it will be private now because this time we will be needing access token to access this route and this will be a kind of a get request. So let's go ahead and do that. So router.get slash API slash authenticate and this will take asynchronous request uh, request and response and for now it's over here but we need some some kind of piece of middleware which will protect this route if that user has the token or not so let's go ahead and do that what we can do since we have already installed passport so we can create some kind of a strategy in order to uh, as well as passport JWT, so we can create some kind of a strategy just to authenticate the user. So let's go ahead and do that. So inside my middleware directory, I'm gonna create a new file called passport middleware.js. And inside that, I'm gonna import something called passport from, from passport package that we installed. And now in order to use this thing, we also need user model. So from users to up, we'll get into the models and we, from there we'll bring in our user model. Then we also use secret in order to hash our token, uh, authentication dot token that we issued earlier. So we can get that from our constants and we can bring in our secret as secret or key okay so this is these are the three things then last but not the least i will be importing some of the functions from our passport jwt packet that also we installed so passport jwt and first one will be strategy because we are going to define our login strategy over here and the second thing is extract JWT function from these two things. Then we are going to define an option equal to secret or key as well as extract uh, JWT from request. This will be a kind of function. So we'll use that function extract jwt dot from auth header as a bearer token so remember when we were issuing the token over here inside generate jwt we were simply sending our token from here and at the end where we were returning that token to the user we were appending bearer at the at the front so you can see bearer token so this is a kind of a strategy that we have and now we can remove that so passport dot use and inside this function, I'm gonna define my strategy. So new strategy, strategy, and this will take my options that we have just created over here. And inside that options, we will, it will decode our token and it will pull in our ID from there. So once we are done with that, we'll give second argument as a done. So now here we can directly access our ID and with the help of ID, we can get the authenticated user. So we are gonna put that in a try and cache block. Okay, so we'll simply say let user is equal to await user.find by id function and we can directly pass that user over there okay so 
if there is a user there's not a user then in that case we'll simply return actually we'll throw new error object user not found we we'll simply say that and that will catch over here and in this done callback we'll return false uh, null with a false but if there is a user then we will simply return something else so we'll return done with a with a null and not knock and we'll use that user dot we want to send simple simple stuff that we have inside our user so we can use this method get user info function we'll pick our id username email and verified status so we'll call that function simply and it's very simple and straightforward to use so if not user we are throwing the user throwing the this error which will be caught here and which will automatically give you unauthenticated request but so far this passport is not yet initialized inside the app so let's go ahead and do that and the way we can do that is going to the our main index.js file firstly we will bring in our passport from passport package that we have okay once we brought in the passport we are gonna use that passport passport dot initialize and we'll initialize our passport over here then we will just bring in our strategy import and this is not router export this is import router imports import passport middleware and we can simply require it from our middleware slash passport middleware so whatever the passport we have just brought in it will be automatically caught over here and then it will start using the same strategy that we have defined over here so now this is one thing one piece of code now th there's another thing how do we know that this pass this route is protected how we are going to still inject that over here so it's very simple we'll bring in passport from passport package and let me write at the bottom for now later i'll arrange them let me shrink this bit and we'll simply say passport dot authenticate and we'll pass jwt and then we will pass session will set to two false because we are not using sessions over here now return let's say for now return res dot json status let's say 200 message hello word for now just this is just a temporary data so now if I go ahead and go to this route the same route but this time it will be a get request and right now this is just an empty blank request if I try to send we are getting unauthorized but now if I go ahead and copy my bearer token that we have from my authentication so let me copy this authentication token put that in here not here actually not inside the params inside the headers look for authorization put that token in there and now if I send we get that message but if I uncheck this thing and send back we get unauthorized so that means we need a token to access this route but now let's say for example we have so many routes to protect so many routes so we are not gonna write this thing all the time so for that it's very simple I'm gonna simply define it as a variable and inside my middleware I'm gonna create auth middlewares dot js 
rename that actually instead of the auth we'll simply say g u a r d so this is going to be a kind of card and we are going to import passport from passport then we'll simply say export const user auth equal to passport dot authenticate and with the scheme of jwt session set it to false so this is our scheme that we are exporting from here and now we can directly inside our main users file instead of importing it over here and writing like this we can import our user auth so we can simply say from to up actually one up we'll go to our middlewares slash auth guard and put bring in that user auth and put that just thing over here user auth and pass it as a middleware so now if i go ahead and send this request again something went wrong let me check that auth card import passport from passport jwt okay so this was an error now if i send we get unauthorized if i check this thing we get a hello world but now this was the prof this was the route which was created to get the authenticated users profile actually the users account details so how are we gonna do that so it's very simple the request object if i check console.log request object and if i re write request simply write this request and send okay simply and now if i send this request we get this hello world but if i come to my terminal over here this request object also adds this user id so everything is in here so what is happening behind the scene so the thing is what is happening behind the scene inside this passport middleware once our request passes through this it gets our request user if not then it will simply throw that the user out whole request it will forbid this whole request from here otherwise we are simply appending that user inside that request object so that's how it is working and now we can directly have that access to the user authenticated user so simply we can simply say user equal to request dot user so this will get the authenticated user so now if i send this we'll get that user over there so it's pretty straightforward nothing uh nothing very fancy going on here so that's how we did that now it's time to go ahead and have a look at the password reset stuff so that's the bonus and i think i'm too tired right now so let's let me take some break and i'll be right back i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you guys